Let's talk now about the uh, concepts and issues involving what's called JIT configuration of VMs. So what is JIT? JIT stands for just in time. So uh, this is one of the big security um, capabilities and features that's been introduced in the whole cybersecurity world over the years, and that is to provide access to something when and only when somebody really needs access to it. So this goes for your fellow admins as well. So you have admins that need to get in and maybe make changes to virtual machines and configure the virtual machines, but we only want to allow that when it's absolutely necessary. So JIT is going to do that. Now, um, when it comes to troubleshooting JIT, first off, the starting point of this is that it's usually not uh, enrolled in your Azure tenant to begin with. So it's kind of hard to use because you have to actually turn it on. Let me show you about how we do all that. Here we are on portal.azure.com. I'm going to click the menu button uh, and you can go to all services. Just do a search for the term Defender. Okay. And you'll see Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Okay. I've turned the little star on so it is now a favorite for me. And I can click it over here on my menu blades. And then if I scroll down a little bit, there's something called Workload Protections. I'm going to click on Workload Protections, and this is going to let me know that currently JIT is not enabled. This is not something that's turned on. So I can click that if I want, and I can click Try Just-In-Time VM Access. Okay, and then from there, it's going to want me to upgrade my uh, tenant to support this capability. So at that point, I could click Upgrade, all right? And it's telling me, okay, Defender plans, you've, you've Defender uh, Azure subscription, um, you have added that to your subscriptions. It may take a little bit of time. And after refreshing my web browser, let's see. Okay, so you'll notice this is going to look different now. Uh, and it tells you right here, virtual machines configured with just-in-time access is zero, not configured. There's none that aren't configured, but there's a problem. This is the this is the problem. It's unsupported. So this is the first troubleshooting thing I want to get into right out of the gates is that when somebody first sets up JIT, if they've already got VMs set up, they don't understand why they can't use those VMs with JIT. Uh, and if you expand this out, you'll see that these are, it says unsupported. It says VMs that answer one or more of the following. The, there are classic VMs and can't support it. There's no NSG. Well, they're not classic VMs. They're not, has nothing to do with NSG because there is NSGs associated with them. The virtual machines are started. So that leaves one thing. JIT policy is turned off on the, their scope. Aha. So that must be it, right? Well, let's go see. How do we find that out? Let me show you. If I go to the menu here, and I go down here to Defender for Cloud, because I've added that as a favorite. Okay. Um, I can... Um, I can look at... Sorry, I need to go to my VMs. Menu button, go to Virtual Machines. Click on my first virtual machine, VM1. Okay. And I'm going to scroll down and look for Configuration. Okay, there's the blade called Configuration. And there it is right there to improve security enable just in time access. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. All right. Just in time access is enabled. All right. It tells you to disable JIT, modify the configuration request access. So I'm going to now, this, this right here is going to take me right back into Defender for Cloud. And look at there. It's now turned on. So it is available. Okay. Um, as a feature that is turned on. So let's see if we can connect to the VM using RDP right now. So if we hit connect and click RDP, I am going to uh, go ahead and um, you'll notice right here it says request access. I can tell it to download the file anyway and then we're going to open up this RDP file. Now, as you can see, it is attempting to connect, and it is not able to connect. Hmm, that's really strange, right? Well, let's troubleshoot. Let's go to test your connection. All right, my IP address to RDP 3389. Let's hit test connection. Okay, we're going to let this, 
it's going to run a test basically like an IP flow verify test, just like we have in the network watcher. Aha! It says network connectivity blocked by security rule. So there is a security rule that's blocking us. Okay, let's go over to networking and look what we have. So there is a NSG rule that is automatically created by just in time that's blocking this. Okay, very interesting. So if we hit connect, notice we have request access. So this is an admin who is uh, requesting access. Okay, so now it's going to approve that connection, and at that point, um, we should be able to make this connection. All right, put my credentials in, and as you can see, it looks like it is successfully connecting in. Kind of adjusting the window where you can see it a little better here but as you can see i was able to successfully get into that virtual machine okay so that does work uh exactly like it's supposed to all right um let's just refresh the screen here there we go so it'll recheck the security group and it is working if we go back over here to network Okay, you can see that this rule has been set to allow. All right, so that is um, working exactly like it's supposed to. And if we go over here to Defender for Cloud, click on Workload Protection. Clicking on Just in Time VM Access, you can see the request says one request active now. So you can see that this has gone through, all right? And of course, this is just another way you could request access if you want. You can click on that. You can specify to toggle on. It says, please select the ports that you would like to open for this virtual machine. You set an IP range if you want and click open ports. Set the time frame. So the default time frame for that is set to three hours, okay? All right, and so that is how you enable the just-in-time administration for a VM, and that's also how you can kind of troubleshoot some of the issues. You're generally going to use the, um, the network watcher, uh, or you can use the test connection that's directly on the virtual machine itself. This is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.